1981, big-time advertising executive Jacob Friedman was arrested on charges of fraud and tax evasion. As part of a plea bargain, Friedman was forced to open a non-profit advertising agency for small businesses. Far more focused on his profitable business ventures, plea bargain advertising wallowed in obscurity for over three decades. In 2007, Jacob Friedman passed away, leaving the mostly defunct ad agency to his great nephew, Josh, and plea bargain advertising was reborn. You just had to stop and get a waffle cone. Hey, you got one too, okay? But it was your idea. Yeah. All right, you're good to go. That'll be 55 even, just sign right here. Don't I know you guys from somewhere? Oh, well you might have seen our bench ad around town. <laughs> oh shit, yes, that's it. Well, what you guys do at home is your own business. Well, we do live for advertising. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know what? I was talking to my boy Sam at the key shop. He wants to do a commercial. You should drop by the shop. Really? That sounds awesome. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. I think you guys would hit it off. Go check him out. I gotta go, guys. Have a good one. You see there? Now locking the keys in the car has turned into a golden opportunity. There you go. Would you like a free ring with your keys? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Bye now. And how can I help you find gentlemen today? Hey, you guys. These are the uh, guys I was telling you about, the commercial guys, yeah. <laughs> I'm Josh, and this is Ben, and we're from Flea Bargain Advertising. Oh, so you guys make commercials, right? Hey, let me ask you guys something. Where exactly is the beef? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Um, well, sir, we've actually been doing a lot of thinking about your business, and I think we have some really surefire ideas to get more customers into your store. All right. Well, go ahead. Lay it on me. We open on a suburban home in the middle of the night. We see a man wearing a trench coat, a fedora, and a Zorro mask. And in his right hand, he holds a crowbar. Well, I, let me guess. The guy in the Zorro mask, he's gonna break into their house and steal their precious pearl necklaces? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Look, guys, I don't want to scare people into buying locks and security systems. I wanna laugh them into buying locks and security systems, you know? Speaking of laughs, what's black and white and red all over? And what? <laughs> right, you get it? So I tell you what, why don't you guys go back and come up with some humorous ideas and then we'll meet again tomorrow and uh, we'll go over them. How's that sound? Sure, uh, we'll do our best. And that's why the folks at Sam's Lock and Key think outside the box. The lock box. Come to Sam's Key Shop. Out of key. Boy, am I hungry. Say, would you like some locks and cream keys? Listen, guys, I appreciate all the hard work you've done, and you got some really uh, great ideas, but I really don't think it's going to work out. All right, well, thanks, Sam, for the opportunity. Hey, no problem. It was really nice meeting you guys. Hey, hey, you guys want a free key ring? No. <laughs> Idiots. Man, I really thought Sam was gonna love that last idea. Well, I guess we gave it our best shot, though. Yeah, you know what they say, you win some, you lose some. Come on, let's go get a waffle cone. All right. I can't wait to sneak inside and steal the pearl necklace. Not if Super Sam, the Key Man, can help it. Oh no, not Super Sam the Key Man. He must have been thinking outside the box. The lock box. Damn.
Ho, 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 ho. Sounds like someone is out of key. Oh, smack. Now I'm getting hungry. How about some locks and cream key? That looks good, yo. And speaking of good, Sam's lock and key. Come for the keys, stay for the laughs. Oh, shit. Of course, Super Sam the key man. Why didn't we think of that? Absolutely brilliant.